most beautiful woman in the world. I can never repay you for the things that you've done for me. And all I can say is, you are the one I could always go to when times get hard. You see me, see me. You've been there every time that I needed you, Mama. I appreciate you. Was why you live Use a strong black woman that's for real You took time from your life To care for me, to raise me To love me unconditionally You never griped or complained Stood by my side through the storm and rain And I damn near drove you insane From the schoolhouse to the courthouse Down to the times when you had to bail me out You taught me to survive and what it's all about like how to stay strong now that dad is gone Your baby boy's doing big things So mama just hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, To be perfectly honest, we're not going to be able to babysit Jemiah anymore after today What you mean? You know what I mean, since Jay's funeral, hell, even before he died I had my doubts that Jemiah was his child Look, Carolyn, don't start that mess again Jay was Jemiah's father and you and Mac are her grandparents Look, I got my doubts. Jay told me how you was always sneaking around. Me? It was your son who was constantly cheating on me. But that's neither here nor there. Look, Carolyn, Jay is dead, and we should be trying to get along for Jemiah's sake. If it wasn't for you, he wouldn't be dead. How you gonna blame me for Jay getting killed? If you hadn't put him out of the house, he wouldn't have been in the street that night. I didn't have a choice but to put Jay out. His drinking was making our lives miserable, and you know that. Hell, I didn't have any control over Jay out in those streets. Jalen made that choice to drive drunk. Thank God he only hit a tree and not another car. And what if Jemiah had been in the car with him, huh? You think about that? And yes, I put him out, but I see you ain't let him come back here. I wanted my baby to come home, but somehow he had in his head that he was going to work things out with your skank ass. Skank? Calling skank. Your son wasn't shit. Probably because he was a mama's boy. If you were to let him grow up, he probably would have been the husband and father that Jemiah and I needed. Trifling bitch! What is wrong with you? I didn't know you were crazy. 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 I would like to explain that this is a mediation in the family court. We're here to determine today who is the biological father of a Jemiah Jones and whether she is the legal beneficiary of the deceased Social Security benefits. Taryn tries to sit there like she's Miss Goody Two Shoes, but she's nothing but a whore. Miss Jones, let's keep this proceeding civil. There's not gonna be any name calling in this court. I'm sorry. I'm just angry. She's always tried to make my son out to be an abuser. My son was a mother's dream come true. From the moment he was born, I knew he was someone special. As a little boy, he had a smile that would light up a room. My son was a good man. So helpful and loving to his mother. You know, Jay wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer. You know, something important like that. He was well on his way until he met her. Let me begin by saying that Jalen and I met when we were very young and got married almost right away. But from the beginning, Caroline had a problem with me. She did everything she could to come between us and fill Jay's head with so many lies about me. Your Honor, our marriage was good in the beginning, but in the end, it was downright nasty. Your Honor, let me tell you the truth about Jalen. He was far from being the devoted husband and father that his mother seems to think he was. A couple of months before he died, 
I had to take Jemaya to the emergency room because she fell and hurt her arm at school. Your Honor, I tried to call Jalen to tell him to meet us at the hospital. Jemaya was hurting and constantly asking for her daddy. I left messages for Jalen at home and at work, and he never returned my phone call. I called his cell phone over and over and over again and never got an answer. When Jay finally came home that night, he gave me some lame-ass excuse about being called away from the office on business and that where he was, he couldn't get any reception on his phone. Yeah, you know I knew that was a lie. We got into a heated argument and Jay slapped me and called me paranoid. He flipped the whole thing around and said that I was cheating on him. He stormed out of the house and didn't come home until the next day. <laughs> Your Honor, I put up with Jalen's abuse for a long time because I thought I wanted Jemiah to have what I didn't have, a mother and a father in the house. Your Honor, a couple of weeks went by and our lives got back to normal until the day I received our credit card statement in the mail. <laughs> you know, the very day that Jemiah had to go to the emergency room, Jay had charged a hotel room and room service for two to our credit card. I confronted him and Jalen got angry, told me not to question him. When I persisted, Shayla slapped me and started beating me in front of our child. Your Honor, I turned into a monster. I've never been so scared in my whole life. Jemiah was screaming and crying. Get off my mommy. Daddy, please stop. Jay kept yelling at me that he was going to kill me. And all I kept thinking was, Lord, Please, please don't let me die in front of my baby. Oh God, my child was so scared that she called 911 on her own daddy. Go get my daddy. They arrested him, and the next day, I filed for a restraining order and a divorce. Enjoy. Your Honor, Jay was killed before our divorce was finalized. And as much as I disliked him towards the end of our marriage, he was still Jemiah's father. And unfortunately, Caroline is still her grandmother. This is all just a personal vendetta against me. Because she feels like I took her baby boy away from her. I'm not worried about the outcome because I know the truth. I agreed to do this without reservation because I want answers for Jemiah's sake. Now that we've heard from both parties, let's move forward to the results of the test. You're all familiar with Mr. Carson from Biotech Medical Research. Mr. Carson, please come forward. Now these circumstances are such that the father in question, Jalen Jones, is deceased. In order to determine the paternity of the minor child, Mr. MacArthur Jones came in to be tested. And by testing the grandfather, it was proven as a result of 99.1% that Jalen Jones, the deceased, is not the father of Jemiah. What do you mean? Jalen was her father. He was her father. See, I told you she was a whore. Order, order. This is not a trial, but you will respect this courtroom. May I continue? The deceased Mr. Jalen Jones is the biological father of Jemiah Jones. Wait a minute, Mr. Carson. Even I'm confused. Is he the father or not? Uh, yes, sir, Your Honor. Jemiah Jones is the biological child of Mr. Jalen Jones and Mrs. Terry Jones. However, Mr. MacArthur Jones is not the biological father of the deceased. What the hell? Caroline? Matt! Your Honor, we ran the test several different times in several different ways and ended up with the same results. I'm sorry, Mr. Jones, but Jalen was not your son. Well, Miss Jones, I think you finally got some closure. This case is dismissed. <laughs> Oh, my God.